If you're trying to quit vaping or quit smoking like this individual did, I have a very important piece of advice for you. A lot of times people relapse or give in because they're in a situation where they're around friends or family members who are vaping or smoking. As the active user, the person who's using the substance, who has the addiction, you start to develop a fear of missing out. You develop FOMO. If I don't smoke with them, I'm going to miss out. If I don't drink with them, I'm going to miss out. And it's really important that you understand you're already missing out on things in life. That's why you want to quit this addiction. This addiction is costing you your finances, it's costing you your time, it's costing you your physical and mental health, it's costing you your motivation and your energy. You're already missing out on all of those things. The whole reason you're trying to quit and you want to quit is so you can gain back all of those things in life, all of the things in life that you're missing out on. So you don't have FOMO of missing out on a good time at a party or a good time, quote unquote, at a family event. You have FOMO of missing out on the rest of your life. In these situations, I also want you to keep in mind, do you want to be the one who's influencing or the person who's being influenced? If you're constantly allowing others to influence you, you will be seen as vulnerable at one point in your life and people will take advantage of that. That might get you stuck in a toxic job or in a toxic relationship. People take advantage of people who are vulnerable, of people who are constantly influenced. I don't want that to happen to you. I want you to be the person who's influencing, not being influenced. In these type of situations, the best thing you can do is realize, chances are a lot of the people that are standing around that circle, passing around a vape, passing around a drink, Sure, maybe some of them truly are having fun, but chances are a lot of them don't want to be doing that. They're stuck in the same trap that you're stuck in. Not everyone, but some. The best thing that you can do for them is show them that quitting is possible. Be a positive influence, not only on yourself, but for them too. That's how you create real impact. That's how you create real change. You deserve more than addiction is ever capable of giving you. And I want you to know that. It's important to me.